There's a full interview that took place. Now we focus on the Democratic candidate in another close Senate race, this one in Pennsylvania. But the full interview itself was not what actually ended up making the headlines, okay? What ended up making the headlines was NBC and CNN both being weirdly fucking gross and ableist because John Fetterman is now hard of hearing. As a consequence of the stroke, he's hard of hearing. So he needed close captioning technology in the NBC News interview. So they literally fucking mentioned it as though it was an own, which I think is fucking wild. Like, as ableist as I am, as pro-ableism as I am when it comes to cognitive functions uh, decreasing, I've always maintained the position that, like, if you're blind or if you need a wheelchair, if you're deaf, like, that does not impair you from being in a position of power, being in Congress. When I say I'm ableist, I'm talking about degenerative cognitive functions like joe brandon's dementia or ronald reagan's dementia and alzheimer's it's crazy it's crazy that the nbc interview however made it seem like this was a big fucking deal uh so much so that southpaw and others uh were very upset with this he says i dislike watching nbc news a giant agenda setting institution and its reporter deliberately fixate on and exoticize Fetterman's straightforward accommodations for his disability i wish it wasn't like this in america dasha burns the person who actually did the interview conducted the interview Senate quite literally had this to say after the interview immediately race in Pennsylvania now considered a toss-up our Dasha Burns spoke with Democrat John Fetterman in his first in-person sit-down interview since he suffered a stroke and Dasha this was not a typical candidate interview no Lester because of his stroke Fetterman's campaign required closed captioning technology for this interview to essentially read our questions as we ask them and Lester in small talk before the interview without captioning it wasn't clear he was understanding our conversation can voters trust that you will be able to do this job on like that's crazy fucker i'm turkish okay turkish is my first language english is my second language i need close captioning when i'm watching movies and shit or else i can't fucking comprehend every single word that's being said and i don't have a hearing uh disability or anything like that there are plenty of people that need it, okay? There are plenty of people that need it. There are people whose first language is English and they need it. Being hard of hearing or, or having some kind of like hearing impairment is not an own. <laughs> what the f On day one. Yeah, of, of course. This is Pennsylvania Democratic Senate candidate John Fetterman's first in-person sit-down interview since a stroke sidelined him from the campaign trail for months. That auditory processing where you know, I'll hear someone speaking, but sometimes they'll be able to be... Uh, precise on what exactly that they're saying. I use captioning. His campaign required that he be allowed to use a transcription program on his computer during our interview. I always thought I was pretty empathetic. Uh, 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 I think I was very, excuse me, empathetic. Uh, you know, that's an example of the stroke, empathetic. Yeah. I, I always thought I was very empathetic uh, before having a stroke. But now after having that stroke, I really understand you know, much more kind of the challenges that Americans have day in and day out. So you say you're on the road to full recovery, but right now voters really have to take your word for it. That's crazy. I get that this is definitely, I get that this is definitely a, a thing that is important, right? Like this is certainly a thing that people are questioning. Like people want to know because he, he, he is recovering from a stroke. Like, is he capable of doing it? But when you're in person with this person and you realize that they are capable of forming coherent thoughts and they're having this conversation, but they need like, uh, you know, accommodations for their hearing. That's crazy. Like using this is like, did the Oz campaign pay for this? Like it just reads like a fucking hit piece, man. What the fuck? We've asked for your medical records. We've asked to have a conversation with someone from your medical team to interview your physician. You've declined those requests. Why? Well, I, I feel like we have been very transparent in a lot of different ways when our doctor has already given a letter saying that I'm able to serve and to, to be uh, running. I mean, respectfully, that letter from your physician, that was six months ago. Don't voters deserve to know your status now? Being on in front of thousands and thousands of, of people and having interviews and getting around all across Pennsylvania, that gives everybody and the voters decide, you know, if they think that it's it's really the issue. Polls show Fetterman's lead is shrinking against Republican Dr. Mehmet Oz. It's now a toss up race that could determine control of the Senate. Bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. This is actually fucking insane. NBC's literally writing 
cutting a hijab. No mention of policies. No mention of Dr. Oz. That's crazy. That NBC, by the way, supposedly, uh, you know, uh, liberal or uh, unbiased or liberal. Once again, I got to repeat liberal twice. You said first time? No, but like, oh my God. It's wild to see this, dude. It's wild to see this in action this is totally wrong fetterman understood and answered all questions it's comically stupid to suggest that the voters care about him being able to debate on the senate floor when the when does that happen he's not a delegate to the constitutional convention dude that's crazy I i'm losing it i'm losing it <laughs> yeah why are you defending awful disgusting no good slight hard of hearing people's shame yeah disgusting of me it's so funny because i've talked about being ableist uh to to candidates so much and every single time i bring that up i literally will show the caveat I will always explain that there are, I'm not talking about ableism in the form of like, you know, a hearing aid or a walking aid or not being able to see. I mean, like literally cognitive abilities and, and they are unironically like, nah, that. we are ableist across the board. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't hear well. Well, you then you said it in the Navarra interview. I remember it's not even a us up it's not he's saying that like fetterman's lead is shrinking that's a six point fucking lead man that's crazy i completely agree with you but just to be a little fair strokes are a big deal dude of course of course strokes are a big deal that's why i said it's understandable to ask one question about that and then can move on but it's not like he's not doing campaign stops across pennsylvania what are you talking about how are you gonna ma make your main takeaway here whether or not uh, john fetterman is fit to fucking serve and then hyper focus on him needing hearing aids especially when the entirety of the senate is composed of literal people with their brains leaking out of their fucking ears herschel walker is running for s Herschel Walker is running for Senate, and he is a walking billboard for CTE, okay? I've never heard Herschel Walker get up, stand up, and explain something from point A to point B without, like, going off on a tangent about cows and bull penises and abortions. Dianne Feinstein was, was removed from her committee position. Even her aides are literally like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, dog. She's kind of old. She should probably not do this anymore. And then um, she went and said, it's possible. Sorry to say I talked, but I talked to John Fetterman over for an hour without stop or any aides. And this is just nonsense. Maybe this reporter is just bad as small talk. It's possible for two different reporters to have two different experiences with a candidate. Our team was in the room with him, reported what happened in it as journalists do before and after closed captioning was on. Our full interview is now available to watch. That's crazy, man. She doubled down on it. God damn. Even Tommy Vitor and the libs over at, uh, uh, at Crooked Media are like, this is totally wrong. Fetterman understood and answered all questions. It's comically stupid to suggest that voters care about him being able to debate on the Senate floor. No, I think voters will care a little bit about the aesthetics of the situation. But if you're an honest news broadcaster, your job isn't to literally jump and, and uh, direct the conversation in that way. Unless you're just cutting opposition research. We were happy to accommodate closed captioning. Our reporting did not and should not comment on fitness for office. This is for voters to decide. Uh, what we do uh, push for as reporters is transparency. It's our job. Fetterman sat down and answered our question. That's his job. I'm so mad. I work for a senator. They can't even go to the bathroom by themselves. Not that they get, not that they are not physically capable, just that they're used to someone being at their assistance at all times. He will get support he needs like every other senator. But it's not, that's not even, the real disability that John Fetterman has is not his f***ing aids, Okay. The real disability that John Fetterman has is that he's a little bit more to the left than the average Democratic Party candidate, even when the Democratic Party has basically conceded after their primary uh, uh, opportunities in usurping him, okay? When all that failed, they had to basically concede, like, this is a free seat in uh, Pennsylvania. We got to take what we can get here. So that's his real disability. That's his real problem. Okay, <laughs> Keck W chatters <laughs> immediately as soon as I said the real disability that John Fetterman has, chat lit up saying he's bald. Okay, yes, balding visibility. Yes, that is a disability. We're not going to use ableist language like bald. We're going to say follically impaired. He isn't backing down. We're coming from a stroke in public isn't easy, but in January, I'm going to be much better and Dr. Oz will still be a fraud. Yeah, I mean, this sh this shit's fucking wild, man. It's wild. It's wild. I can't get over it. Republicans this. focusing on crime. In particular, Fetterman's votes on the parole board. Fetterman says he's trying to get as many criminals out. I love the, the Fetterman attack ads because he looks so fucking badass, by the way. And they're trying to hit him from both angles. They're trying to hit him from both angles. They're trying to say that he wants to release every violent criminal psychopath into your fucking suburb, okay? But then also he's like, and he's a vigilante who like chased after a black man with a shotgun, which is 
insane. Like, how do you get both? How do you do both? Motherfucker is like a bounty hunter. You're saying he is a bounty hunter while simultaneously saying he wants to release every single criminal. Why? Does he want to fucking chase him himself? Is that why he wants to release every criminal? Because that's what this attack ad makes it seem like. It literally makes it seem like John Fetterman wants every criminal to be released so he can take the law into his own hands. And like, Pennsylvanians are going to look at this and go, that's my candidate. He's about to <laughs> the vulnerability of John Fetterman. He's trying to flip Pennsylvania's open Senate seat while fending off a celebrity doctor and recovering from a stroke that almost killed him. Jesus Christ. Isn't it interesting how Biden had two brain aneurysms and the media never talked about it, but it was totally fair game to attack Bernie for his heart attack and now Fetterman for his stroke? Seems like there are no rules when it comes to attacking left-leaning candidates. Yeah, of course not. Out of prison as he can. Including votes in favor of paroling convicted murderers. Are you soft on crime? Uh, of course not. I'm actually effective on crime, and I believe in second chances, uh, and I've run on that record. Meanwhile, Fetterman going after Dr. Oz on abortion rights. Dr. Oz likes to make fun of me that I might miss a word, but, you know, he's missed, you know, two words, and that is a yes or no on the national abortion uh, ban. If you're going to be our next senator, you have to give the answer. Lester Fetterman told us he is committed to debating Dr. Oz on October 25th, where he will also be using closed captioning. Damn, fucking got his ass, dude. You really did. Be a little bit, be a little bit more ableist. Be like, yeah, fucking, uh, find, find <laughs> NBC looking for new and creative and unique ways to shit on deaf people. You know, we got a lot for the for the blind, but let's hear it for the deaf folks. You know what I mean? This fucking deafy, <laughs> crazy. Actually crazy. I can't believe it, dude. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman just gave his first in-person, on-camera interview since having a stroke five months ago. Fetterman showed NBC News how he uses closed captioning to read questions in real time to overcome the physical... This is something that the media does all the time, okay? It's a very effective way of, like, manufacturing drama, okay? Uh, the media does this. Uh, we see it in a, as a microcosm within, like, the Twitch sphere as well. Where, like, you will pick something, you will create drama and tension out of it, okay? No matter how ridiculous or how frivolous it is. And then, instead of, like, uh, uh, analyzing whether or not it's frivolous or ridiculous, you will then go up and say, many people are saying it's controversial. And then you further the narrative that way. You just move on from whether or not that was even adequate to the next stage, which is a lot of people are shocked by uh, John Fetterman not being able to... Uh, and not being able to hear well it's like what do you mean are we i'm personally i'm more shocked that you're making a big deal out of this full effects of his stroke robert costa has the latest on this story can voters trust that you will be able to do this job on day one yeah of, of course in a recent interview with NBC News, which aired yesterday, Pennsylvania's Democratic Senate nominee John Fetterman was seen using a closed captioning device. We got him, boys. He, as in some settings since his stroke in May. That auditory processing where you know, I'll hear someone speaking, but sometimes I'll be able to be uh, precise on what exactly that they're saying. I use captioning. The interview was the latest prism into the Pennsylvania lieutenant governor's recovery process, which has become a political target in one of the nation's key Senate races, with Republican Mehmet Oz pressing Fetterman to disclose more about his health. I'm calling on John Fetterman. Fetterman's campaign has disclosed his use of the captioning technology several times since he began his post-stroke media interviews. I feel like we have been very transparent in a lot of different ways when our doctor has already given a letter saying that I'm able to serve and to, to be uh, running. I mean, respectfully, that letter from your physician, that was six months ago. Don't voters deserve to know your status? What do you think? His hearing is worsened over six months? Like, what, what happened? In that process, in the process of six months, he literally got out of the hospital and started doing a Pennsylvania-wide, statewide tour. He got better. What, what do you mean? Oh, uh, well, six months has happened. Like, he's still recovering while simultaneously touring the state. And she's like, well, I don't know. Maybe you got worse secretly. I can't get over it, man. This now? Being on uh, in front of thousands and thousands of, of people and having interviews and getting around all across Pennsylvania, that gives everybody and the voters decide, you know, if they think that it's it's really the issue. After the interview aired Tuesday night, Fetterman's campaign said in a statement, John is healthy and he also still has a lingering auditory processing issue that his doctors expect will go away, adding he's been transparent and talking openly about his health. 
while also showing voters how this closed caption technology helps him communicate more effectively. All eyes now turn to the October 25th debate between Fetterman and Oz in Harrisburg, which will be the one debate in the race. Several national Democratic strategists told CBS News last night that Fetterman's recovery will be a variable on that stage and for the rest of the race. But they're confident that alarm over the future of abortion rights and questions over Oz's ties to Trump could lift Fetterman's chances in the swing suburban areas around Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. President Biden will wade in soon, hosting a fundraiser for Fetterman next week in Philadelphia. Tony. That's what I mean, this is just straight wild. Uh, more on this, by the way. They're still talking about this. They brought in Dr. Sanjay Gupta on CNN. Developing story. Fetterman now uses closed captioning to understand conversations. Fucking got him. Let me show you here something. Um, the stroke, uh, which was on May 13th, so about five months ago, uh, seemed to affect his ability to sort of comprehend or... Uh Mainstream media is going harder on deaf people right now or the hearing impaired people than me when the 700th time some motherfucker asks, can you please turn on closed captioning? <laughs> By the way, ironically, as much as I yell, I'm always fucking accommodating because I myself need closed captioning. Or understand spoken speech. So what he seems to be doing then is then sort of relying more on his visual part of his brain, which is back here to read the words and then he's responding pretty quickly so you know we don't as you heard there, we don't know uh, what his medical records show we don't know how much this affected him immediately after his stroke so what his recovery has looked like so far what's interesting god damn doesn't all fox new news viewer base have the same hearing problems of fetterman i mean they're all like 70 plus i mean they're way worse than that it's just it's wild to fucking turn and it is truly wild to turn this into a much larger point of contention than it actually is or that it actually needs to be that's insane like this kind of this kind of uh the out-of-pocket behavior is is it has to be purposely done i, I just i can't believe that it is there is no reason to this it, or the reason is just like purely uh, uh, the interest the media has in like seeing blood. There's no way. So aggro. So insanely aggro.